Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Steve. And this is my dog, Charlie. And we got him from a local breeder about five years ago. And before him, I didn't know how I lived. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've had little bitty dogs and I've had big dogs, but he's just the perfect man's dog. Nice and lazy, and the chicks love his ears. He is a Basset Hound. He's full bred, AKC registered. His full name is Charlie Hustle Muggs Wolf Esquire. I figure if I'm gonna pay you to fill in the bubbles to have him registered, I'm gonna fill in everyone. He was the runt, he was the little dude, everybody else was else playing, he was just passed out. So I said, that is my dog. First big thing about a Basset Hound are these huge ears that have to be cleaned weekly or he gets a bunch of gunk. Then he's got these big old feet. Is that right? He got big old feet. Um, and he's just a, a cute little hound dog. He thinks he's a lap dog and, and um, he's perfect. Over the past five years, Charlie has been primarily an inside dog, living in my you know two bedroom apartments. Um, so at this place is the first time he's ever actually been outside. So we were scared for him, so we built him a pen around back, which is a lot of room, but it's still, I mean, he got out of it one time, <laughs> you know? And so we really wanted something that there'd be no way that he could get out of it. Well, primarily he's a hound dog, so anytime he gets a scent, he's gone. If you've got something on you that he wants to smell, he goes for it. And that was the biggest thing with him, with letting him out. So we don't want him to get hit by a car. We don't want him to get out in the woods and, you know, a coyote or something get after him. We do live out in the wilderness. There are bear that roam through here. There's coyote. Um, there's big cats that'll eat him. There's all kinds of stuff. And so being able to keep him this close to the house, those animals generally don't go near living establishments. But if he ran off back to the woods or something, I mean, he'd be easy prey. He can't run very fast, just like my friend and I. I mean, and so what the PetSec brand allows us to do is set up landmarks like bushes or trees or the back edge of the forest over here. And that's where you set up the flag so he can see these are physical boundaries that I know I can't go past. Uh, we came to know the PetSafe fence, uh, PetSafe brand actually, through a friend of ours. Uh, and we talked with him, he helped us pick it out. Uh, we finally broke down and we went and purchased it uh, after chasing the guy around the yard too many times. Well, the installation of the fence took about five hours total and we used all 500 feet of the fence to wrap all the way around. With the driveway, we've got it running through one of the cracks and one of the separations where the driveway is normally flexed. It's flex point in the driveway. Um, and then you just caulk it in. It's pretty simple. Well, the collar will give an audible warning when you set up a radius um, on the little home base that comes with the kit. And when he gets near it, it sets up a real high pitch, real rapid. And so he knows what the sound is, and then whenever he gets too close to it, that's when the restraining method comes in of the fence. Yeah, I think total, we were outside maybe 15 minutes with him, with the fence actually on. Uh, so I definitely think um, that is a method uh, that will catch on quick with him, as dumb as he is. That's not very nice, dude. It's the truth, though. I mean, a lot of it has to do with, like, Pavlov's dogs. You know, you ring the bell, the dogs salivate. This bell goes off, he knows I'm not supposed to go near that fence. It's just gonna take him a little longer. That's a psychology truth bomb. It's, it's true. I definitely I think that Charlie is happier that we don't have to string him up on the leash or yell at him when he's just trying to do his business. I mean, I definitely would not want to be yelled at while I was trying to use the bathroom. But with anybody that has an outside dog, I would definitely recommend the PetSec brand. It is so easy to install and it definitely works. If it can work on my dog, it can work on anybody's dog.